I very quickly want to show you how to use the AWS key management service. Now, you might think you start by clicking on the key management service, but boy, you haven't been using AWS long enough if you think that. You got to start off by creating a role. This is going to come in handy a multiple number of times in the future. We're going to have our EC2 service connecting to the encryption key that we're going to create. So I'm going to create a role for an EC2 instance i'm actually just going to leave it blank for now it's going to be a placeholder but i'll call it my certification exam guru ec2 key role and then just create it so just doing a little bit of grunt work here before we go into the good stuff and the good stuff is that key management service so let's head over there and create a new encryption key that'll be a symmetric key that can do encryption and decryption i'll click next there i'll give this a name it's the certification exam guru key and i think that's just about it i'm going to click the next button there and oh boy look at that we have to select a role i wish i made one there it is right there so that is the IAM role that can use that key. So we make that association and boom, we are on to the next step after clicking that beautiful gold finish button. And what's the next step? Well, I want to use this key. So I'm going to do a little bit of EC2. I'm going to call this from an EC2 shell. I'm going to run a little bit of decryption on the command line inside of EC2. I'll do that by first starting off an instance so i'll call it my certification exam guru ec2 key instance and then it's just all of the standard stuff here and am amazon l at linux ami cheap instance type network settings we can leave all of that alone the big thing for me is going down into this advanced details i'm going to ask for a spot instance because i am cheap and I'm also going to just throw a little bit of code down here into user data. And the code here is actually just going to install the AWS CLI. But you know what? I may have forgotten a step. I've got to do a little bit of IAM work here. And for the life of me, I can't find out where it is. I'm going to keep scrolling here. And there it is. What is the profile that we want to use? Well, we want to use the CEG EC2 key role. Now, we actually haven't assigned any rights to that role yet. So I'm going to click launch instance here. And as this is launching, I'm going to go over to that IAM dashboard and look for that role heading into roles it was CEG and it's that key role right there and I'm going to add a few inline permissions here now what's the service well you know what the service is it is that key management service and what do we want to do with this key management service well we want to be able to encrypt we want to be able to decrypt and I'm telling you, if you want to push that key around anywhere, you're going to want to generate data key as well. Not including that has bitten me more times than I'd like to admit. Now we do have to give this a policy name and we also have to specify the resource that we want to use. Now, I'm just going to say all resources here, but we really should provide the ARN for that key. But I'm a little too lazy, so I'll call this the key policy because well, I'm not very creative with names and this is the only policy that I've got in here. But now this key policy is going to be associated with that role, which is what the AWS EC2 instance is currently running with. Now let's go in and see that instance. See if we can find it here. It is under EC2. It's an instance that should be running and there it is the ceg certification exam guru instance let's connect to it now i was a little too lazy to go in and get the arn for the for the key just a moment ago but 
I think I may go in and get it right now because I am going to need it in some of these commands that I do because well essentially what I want to do is I want to use this key to encrypt some data. So here we go. Let's get into this EC2 instance. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to say echo hello world go visit certificationexams.guru and I can echo into that into a file called file.txt as I said I'm not that creative and you can see it right there now let's encrypt it let's say hey AWS I want you to use the KMS service to encrypt using that key of mine you can see the ARN right there the file.txt file which is on the file system when you do create a file called file.txt encrypted and boom there we go that file has been encrypted do you want to take a look at it let's cat that file cat file.txt.encrypted and see what happens and oh boy there's not a lot in there that i can work with okay and things are frozen a little bit there so let me open up a new terminal window and as we do that you can see well there's the file and there is the encrypted file but what would happen if we tried to decrypt that file that's what i'm going to do right now aws kms decrypt now you notice i'm going to put that decrypted file in a different file so let's try that let's see if that works and okay now we've got file.txt encrypted so we took this file we then encrypted it and then we decrypted it and if that decrypted file has what we put it in originally then we know that things are working well so let's cat that file.txt.decrypted and let's hope it doesn't freeze our screen and there you go we have exactly what we put it in to start with it says hello world go visit certificationexams.guru and you know i'm the type of guy that does what he is told so why not throw certificationexams.guru in there and you'll see there's a number of tough certification exam questions so if you want to get aws certified as a solution architect as a developer as a devops practitioner or even just a cloud practitioner check out certificationexams.guru you won't regret